So the commonest type of heart attack is one that we call non-ST elevation myocardial infarction or non-STEMI. We know that medical treatment in these patients and also angiography with a view to stenting and that's a way in which we can open up the narrow blood vessel that's caused the heart attack improves the patient's outcome. In particular, reduces the risk of further heart attack. We know for the patient to garner the maximum benefit for this, then they should be managed early. And in particular, we know that patients who present with what we call high risk non stemi and that's ongoing pain or changes in the heart tracing, then they should be managed within 24 hours to garner the maximum benefit. Now, currently these patients are admitted to the local hospital and then referred on to the regional cardiac centre, such as the Golden Jubilee. We know from data available that delays are way over 24 hours for these patients. Thus, the, the current system is clinically inefficient because these patients aren't receiving treatment in a timely manner and gaining the maximum benefit, but also economically inefficient because there's wasted bed days in the local hospitals. So in response to this, we set up a service to directly admit the patients presenting with high risk features. So non escalation myocardial infarction with high risk features. And we directly admitted these patients either from the community via the Scottish Ambulance Service, from their own patient's own home, or if the patient self presented from the local accident emergency departments, therefore bypassing the local hospital and bringing them directly here for their uh, potentially life-saving treatment. To help do this, we embarked on a rigorous education process, educating paramedics, helping accident emergencies redesign the chest pain protocol, and using specific scoring systems to allow these high-risk patients to be identified as early as possible in their clinical pathway. In the first year of rollout, we've treated more than 400 of these type of patients at the Golden Jubilee. And what we've demonstrated then is dramatic reductions in delays to treatment. So rather than 56 hours, which the average person waits in the UK for the angiogram with, a, with the potential benefit of stenting, these patients are only waiting four hours media in these hospitals, with 99% being done within 24 hours as well as very early and reduced time to treatment, we also know we've got also very high rates of what we call revascularization. So high rates in which we've been able to open up these patients' blood vessels by putting stents in, way above the national average. And furthermore, because these patients are treated very early, the length of stay is dramatically shortened. And a quarter of these patients being discharged directly from the Golden Jubilee, never having to go to the local hospital. So as well as obvious clinical benefits for these patients, there's clear economic benefits from the region. And we can estimate from bed days saved that we've saved the regions around £1.1 million pounds in the first year of this service being rolled out. This service, because of its success, has been copied and rolled out in many other regional intervention centres across the United Kingdom. And we've also been lucky enough to win a major national innovation award this year.